I'm going to go ahead and add the holes. I'm going to rotate the part. Go to my extrusion icon and select the sketch and make it visible. So I'm going to select this uh, center point and select my hole tool. And the, it's a diameter, it's a through hole, and the diameter is 0.5. Hit OK. I'm going to select uh, this point here, hold my control key down, and select these other two places, this place and this place here. A right mouse click and select the hole tool. Uh, this hole is threaded, and uh, the size is uh, a quarter inch, 0.25. quarter inch, one quarter, 20, 2B, that's correct. And it's going to go all the way through. And hit OK. And those three holes are now threaded. Uh, I'm going to select the remaining two holes, hold the control key, select the other point, a right mouse button, a hole. Uh, this is a countersunk hole. The diameter at the countersink is 0.75, and the degrees is 86, and the hole diameter, it's not threaded, it's uh, through hole, uh, the diameter is uh, 0.313. Uh, hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and turn this visibility of the sketch off. I'm going to go ahead and turn the part around. I'm going to view by uh, this space here. If I select this command here, I'll look at, I point to this space and it views the part face normal. I'm also going to change the visual style of my part. I'm going to go to view and uh, select shaded with edges. Uh, I'm going to create a, a sketch on this surface here. I'm going to add some text put in a numeral 1 here. Type in uh, number 1. Uh, highlight the number and uh, make the text larger. Make it a quarter of an inch tall. And uh, hit OK. Uh, over here I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put it on the number 2 here. Uh, highlight the number and make it uh, quarter inch. Hit OK. I'm going to zoom in and uh, I like this part. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to uh, select the rotate tool. I'm going to select this part and then I'm going to select the center rotate it up here. I'm going to rotate it such that it's like uh, in that orientation. Hit done. And now I'm going to uh, move it I'm going to select that and uh, point from here to I'm going to place it right around right around there done. Zoom out and go to the other side. Do the same here. I'm going to select this. Uh, I'm going to rotate it. Uh, 
select the part, select the center point, uh, rotate it such that uh, in that orientation there. Hit done. And then I'm going to use my move tool, uh, select the part, and then select the base point. And I'm going to place it right around there. Hit done. And hit the green check. I'm going to uh, extrude those two features. I'm going to uh, select the profile. I'm going to uh, point to this profile and then hit the control key, point to that one too. I'm going to remove material, so I'm going to go in the opposite direction and I'm going to just uh, what would be called an involve, so I'm going to go down 0 0.01 inch. Now, if uh, I rotate the part slightly, yeah, you could see that the uh, numerals were actually embossed into the uh, into the metal. That was the last step. I'm going to add a chamfer all around these edges here. Chamfer, and the chamfer is. Uh, Point 0.2, point oh 0.02, and it's uh, these edges here, uh, that edge there, this edge, that edge, this edge. this edge. I'm going to zoom in and put a chamfer on this hole. Select that edge and that edge and hit the green checkbox. I'm going to uh, set the material to aluminum. Uh, right click over this icon, go to eye properties, physical and uh, set the material to aluminum 6061. Hit close. Change the color of the part to blue. Select this icon. Uh, highlight over the part. Right click. Select other. Select the solid. And point to the blue color, hit the green check, save the part as five bottom die plate and if you're done for the day uh, you're going to want to sign out of Autodesk 360, sign out